Hello everybody, this is Charles and I'm back with another toy review, this time for Bandai's Metal Build Gun Barrel Striker! Alright! So I just got this uh, delivered to me yesterday and I'm really excited to bring the video review to, to you. Uh, first of all, I really like the box art of the Gun Barrel Striker. It's really nice with the Strike Gundam and the Gun Barrel combined. Over here we see the side view over here. Alright, and then we see the side view over here is the same. But over the back, you see the picture box up featuring the Gun Barrel Striker by its own. And then uh, with uh, combined uh, with the Strike Gundam, all the variations and the all range attack mode that they call it. So really nice and uh, I like it, the fact that it's really flat. So despite the fact that the Gun Barrel is designed uh, as such, you know, uh, but Banda has made it in a way such that it can be compact and packed. Uh, nicely. So let me just showcase how it is being packed right now. So here, let me just bring us to the tray. So this is a tray that it comes in, okay? So prior to the review, I've actually opened it. Let me just lower the camera a little bit. So the way the gun barrel is packed is really compact. So you know you have the main jet and then the barrels together and every part you need to more or less assemble it. But it's really cool and I like it the fact it's really compact. So it's easy to keep. And it does come with this very this very nice uh, colored catalog, this colored instruction menu. Okay, so expect nothing less from a premium line like the Metal Build line. Very, very nice. So over here you can see that you for the stand, you need to put it on the Strike uh, Gundam stand and you can use the additional uh, uh, holders to actually have the uh, funnels or the barrels okay, displayed but I'm not going to do this in this review so yeah, so here's so much for this so let me just go through the parts one by one okay, over here we have the main uh, Jet. Okay, so this jet reminds me. The design reminds me very much of the from of the jet from uh, Cowboy Bebop. Okay, very really similar, but it's really nice. I mean, even as itself, the this jet by itself is really nice, very detailed. You can see the details over here. Gun barrel striker with the uh, serial number over here, and here we have the what it says the SPS. It says the striker pack system. Those are really small, but you can see that striker pack system, All right? So cool, so nice. Details are very amazing. And uh, just lift this out a little bit. Die cuts wise for this piece, you know, you get this over here, this part over here, and this part. This is for the com combined part. Uh, for the joint, the part where you combine with the uh, Strike Freedom, uh, sorry, Strike Gundam. And this is, um, I think, probably just to add some weight to it. So it's really nice. So we do have some die cuts to it. So, really nice. Alright, so I'll just go through some of the parts individually. First, first we go through all the barrels. So it's labeled 1, 2, 3, 4. So make sure when you get your set, make sure everything is labeled differently. So you get all differently. Say 1, 2, 3, 4. Alright, I would like to eliminate the possibility of no mispacking, uh, but yeah, just to make sure you got everything. So 1, 2, 3, 4. All of them essentially the same except for the marking. So for this uh, barrel, you can see, again very detailed and uh, let me just go through the features for this. So when you open this up, alright, and then you pull the uh, guns out. Okay, do note that it's actually a double gun. So actually when you pull this, right, when you pull this out, you see it reveals two missiles and over here you can see that the pistol uh, or the piston uh, can actually be extended further, which is a very nice, cool, nice feature that I like. And then over here you can open out the fins, right. And open up the fins, you do see a little bit of uh, details as well. You can see over here at the back of the fins, you see these yellow parts, okay? Yeah, it's basically like a booster of further thrusters. And over here, you can actually pull this out, okay, to give you more mobility. So this is how the uh, fully open barrel looks like compared to the one before you open it up. So let's do a side, side comparison, all right? So cool. Here. Right, so I'm gonna put this back, uh, comp press everything back as well, put this back here. Uh, next feature I'm gonna bring is the gun. Okay, this gun actually fits on the uh, the gun barrel striker itself, but it can also be converted to a handheld gun for strike Gundam. So all you do is do this, flip over here, um, open this part out, and flip the handle and there you have it so now this is a gun all right for strike gundam 
Cool. Nice feature. Okay, just bring this back in here first. And uh, next we have the huge gun. Let me just bring out the, the big gun. Yeah, this is the one. Uh, what do they call this over here? I don't know why they call this, but this is the huge gun as well. So, very nice, you can actually extend it. So, you pull this out over here. Okay. This in there over here, you can extend the barrel a little bit further. Pull this down. Okay, extend this outwards. And there you have the another gun for strike gun number hole. Really nice, really impressive. Okay, let me just come put this back in. So you're gonna leave the gun barrel this way is fine now, but uh, you're gonna keep everything in. It's also nice. Cool. All right. So putting it back here first. So first off, I'm gonna go through how we're gonna assemble the uh, gun barrel. Uh, the gun barrel striker. So you have four of this. All four of these are die cast. Okay, you can see the parts here are all die cast. So the way they assemble, you have to make sure you align them properly. So according to the instructions, okay, you have to make sure the alignment and the, and the direction is correct. So one way to easily sort this out is you know, just see this. This part over here is flat compared to the top here. Okay, you have a you have a then uh, you have a something protruding over here. So definitely you know it's wrong because when you put it here. Okay, it doesn't align properly, see? it doesn't align properly, so do not force it in. So this would be the best way for you to see. So you see this, it's flat, it will slot in very easily. And over here, choose the part, okay. Over here, you can't get it wrong within the left or the right side. You just you just have to make sure the orange part is at the bottom, okay. The orange part is at the bottom. Okay, orange part is at the bottom, facing the front of the jet. So you just need to slot this in and push it in, it goes in easily. Alright, so we're gonna do it for the rest of the four. Okay. The other three, I'm just gonna slot this in. See, I got this direction wrong. You see, it should be the orange at the bottom. Then you slot it in, push it in, slide it in. It's really easy for you to slide it in, so it's really fun and uh, hassle free. So when when you are actually trying to slot this in, you feel you no, know, you feel that you know it's suddenly getting very rough, very tight, and it doesn't really seem to fit in. Probably it might get the direction wrong, so it's best to just to check again. All right. So here I have all. See, I got the direction wrong again. Go here. Yep. So I got all four of them sorted in. So it does have a more weight to it right now, you know. So because you see the diecast is here, not the diecast is here. So now it feels a bit uh, back heavier. Okay. And over here right now, what I'll do, I'll slot this in first. So this is the fin. We're gonna slot this in. It goes at the bottom. Very nice. Slot it in. Okay. And over here, just a point I did to tell you, this part is a fragile. It's quite delicate, uh, but you can actually pluck it out, okay? So during the, I was playing with it earlier on, and it just pops out a bit here and there, but it's fine. So just pop it back in. So over here now, we're gonna go with number one. Number one starts with here. So we're gonna slot it in over here. Slide it downwards. Lock it in place, you can see it here, click, number two, slot it in, see, very nice click sound, you have it, number three, slot it in over here, click, number four, nice, so where all the mean parts in, I'm just going to move the tray away, okay, yes, so here we have the gun barrel, striker which is uh, fully assembled really really nice you know okay here you can pull down the fin so if you want to display him with the fin downwards okay you have to actually attach it with the stand but if you want to display it just in the shelf without uh without any stands it looks good by itself this way see looks really really nice uh does have a nice uh weight to it okay so uh Fiddle this a little bit. Yep. It's really cool. Okay. And then option wise, you can actually attach uh, both guns. So let's, you can also attach this huge one. So to attach this uh, huge uh, gun, you need to take this part out. Okay. Take this part out. And then you just pop in over here. And there you have it. And it stands by itself also without any stand. You can support yourself really well even without a stand. Alright. 
Okay, take this out. Pop this back in before you lose it. Okay, nicely. So the other one you're gonna pop in is uh, this uh, gun. So you just need to push this lever outwards. Pop it in over here. Very easily. And here, here we see some die cast part as well. And there you have it. And again, you know, without the, uh, even without the uh, stand, you can also display him this way. Really, really nice. All right. So now this is a, it's the time where we go through the combination with Strike Freedom. Uh, sorry, Strike Gundam. Why do I keep calling Strike Freedom? Strike Gundam. So over here, uh, you want to put the two of them together first. You have to make sure this part is lowered. And over here, we'll flip this all the way to the top. All right. All the way to the back, sorry. And uh, next, what you're gonna do is gonna slot it in. So, when you slot it in, okay, you're able to actually combine it. So, once you slot it in over here, push it down so it locks in place completely. Okay, it might take a little bit of uh, adjustment, but you'll be able to feel a sort of a soft click to it, and you know that it's, a, it's a in completely. So, once it's in completely, you will not be able to actually uh, move this around too much. So, if you realize that you put it in and this can actually fiddle too much. Let me just show you an example. Let's say for example, I just put it in and you realize that you know it's a bit fiddly, it means you didn't put it in enough. So you need to push it down here and you push it all the way, push it in and push it down all the way. Okay. Okay, push it down all the way. You see the orange part is touching the blue part over here at the back. This is where you know that it's fully inside. And uh, if you were to have strike uh freedom gundam sorry, strike gundam this way. Okay, because it's back heavy, it's not gonna support itself. Okay, it's, uh, it's not able to support itself. However, when I actually extend it out the uh, this thing, when I actually expand the entire thing, it sort of balances much better. So let me just first make sure this is okay. Okay, I'm gonna expand this. So I'm gonna pull this out. Okay, I'm gonna pull this out as well. Pull this up. As you can see, what I'm doing is still a little bit fiddly. Um, okay, I'm quite sure I actually got it locked in. Yeah, so even though it's locked in, it's still a little bit fiddly. Okay, but we do the best we can. Okay, let me just do the best I can during this review. Um, we just open this back. Open this. I'm gonna pull out the gun barrels. Open up the fins over here. As you can see, as uh, as I start to um, open up, sort of expand this thing, it starts to balance a lot better. Okay. Okay, over here. Pull it out. Okay, make sure it's locked in place. And over here, the gun, you just need to rotate it. Left or right or center is depending on your preference, but for me, I just put it here. Okay, and then for the back of the barrel, you might want to extend thrusters. And there you have it. So I do have the uh, strike gunner with the barrels fully um, open up right now. Okay, and yeah, it balances pretty well. So you can see the video, it balances really well, doesn't? And I'm not angling him uh, or slouching him uh, a lot, okay? Just slightly bent forward. Okay, just slightly bent forward. Let me just put the feet together. Yeah, but it seems to be, but he very much is able to actually hold the gun uh, barrel striker. Pretty well, pretty well, okay. I just need to adjust his uh, posing a little bit, yes. So you can see he does hold himself pretty well. Okay, of course you can see I, I slanted him forward a little bit, a little bit, but you no, know, it does show that you know he can actually stand really well. And if you look at the back view, it's pretty magnificent. You no, know, the whole thing together and the fins and such, it does look pretty magnificent. Of course, it looks much better in the stand, but uh, to me, this is pretty good. Yeah. Pretty nice attachment, and I'm pretty surprised, you know, for the fact that you know, uh, despite the fact that there's quite a lot of weight at the back, but he does, he does, 
he is actually quite able to balance himself pretty well. Okay, that's cool. So right now I'm just gonna detach this. Okay, because I'm gonna show the other form that you can actually attach him in. Alright, so strike down them here. So let's in the meantime first collapse everything back. Okay, collapse everything back. It's quite fun you know, to actually do this. You now there's a lot of fun factor and playability to this. Pop that back in. Okay, I'm gonna adjust my rifle. Pop this back in. Gonna align everything back to the default position. So everything's back to the default position. So next thing I'm gonna do right now, I'm just gonna need to show how you're gonna attach this uh, to the back in a different form. Okay, you gotta take out the first, you gotta take out this gun. And you also have to release two of this. So you gotta take number three and four apart. Okay, and you also have to take this fin out. So first off, you need to put this part. Okay, this is a different uh, part for you to slot in. Slot it to the back, all the way here. And for the sides, you will need to attach this uh, these two packs. Let me just bring it out from the stand. These two packs. So this, pretty simple, straightforward. Just pack it in on the right side and the left side. Okay. And over here, you just detach here. Detach this. So this is number four. Number four goes here. Just put it in. Slide it. Here, click and it's tidy in number three. Slide and it's in. So you no, know, even if you want it to be uh, this way. So some some of you might like the gun barrel striker in this mode looks nicer. Yeah, which I do agree. It does looks different. Okay, and it does does have its uh, beauty in this way. So you just want to display him in the uh, gun striker mode, and you see the fin fell off, but it's fine. The fin fell off, but let's pop it back in. So you want to display the gun barrel striker this way flat. It's fine as well. It does look it does look very good as well. So let me just slot this back in over here. So similarly, uh, when you move it to the move it to the back of the strike Gundam, just put it in and push it down all the way as far as you can, and it locks very much well in place. And you can see very well as well the balance is uh, is pretty good. Okay, it does stand very well. So you can see the strike freedom strike Gundam is actually standing more straight right now. Okay. Compared to the uh, the one that I did earlier, it's straighter around, but he, he he does balance himself pretty well. See, really nice balance. Some of you might like him in this mode more, uh, but personally, I prefer him with the backpack at the back, uh, the original mode, which is this one. I like it this way more because it does seem a little a lot more imposing. And so, so this is probably like you know, uh, in a way that I you need him to actually. You need, you usually rush to the scene and that's how you're actually in this mode and you fly straight but once you are at the scene for battle you'll convert to the uh, other mode so which is cool it's really really nice so yes so let me just leave it in this form over here uh so let me just have my thoughts on this piece uh personally i feel the gun barrel striker is a very impressive and awesome piece and uh, it's really a nice, it's a very good add-on to the Strike Gundam even though it's not it's not official in the anime but it's in the uh, Gundam MSV storyline. Uh, it's really cool and I'm really happy that actually Bandai actually gave us this option part. Uh, but you know, the sad part is that this is not easy to order. Uh, it's very limited in Japan and, and the markets outside Japan as well where it's available. It's only a it's only um you can order two pieces per account so that's really really rare two pieces to account and um, a lot of places are sold out and even on the online websites i think for nippon yasa and such i think i'm not sure whether they took any pre-orders for this but even if they took pre-orders for this i'm sure it's gone in in a snap because it is really really rare two pieces per account so i don't understand why uh this this l part is so rare or why did they make it so rare in the first place 
but maybe because of the design and the complexity of it, it's not so easy to produce. Maybe they can only produce a certain uh, number of pieces uh, by a certain time. But uh, I do hope for collectors who have missed out on the Gun Barrel Striker, I hope that Bandai will have a round two of uh, pre-order, even though that it is a Tamashi Web exclusive. But you know, we do see instances where by Tamashi Web uh, exclusive do get reissued. So I do hope you know, maybe for those uh, in Japan, maybe if the Japanese collectors themselves are unable to get this, uh, if they make enough feedback to Bandai, Bandai may consider doing a round two of, uh, of production for this because this is going to be very rare. And I can tell you for sure, I'm, I haven't checked out the prices, whether it be in Japan or on eBay, but I'm really sure the price of this gun barrel striker it will go higher and higher as the day goes by. And I wouldn't even be surprised if some third party uh, company produces a knockoff version of this because of the demand for this piece. Uh, so, you know, I, I'd rather Bandai create their own, you know, to reproduce this or reissue this so that more collectors can have it than to let uh, unscrupulous third party knockoffs uh, benefit from this mold. So, yeah. So, this is really, really high because I know, I know for sure before the item is released, the prices are already going up on eBay. Uh, and I'm really sure that now the item is released and as more of us get reviews on how good this piece is, the price is going to de definitely go higher and higher and it's going to be more and more rare as the days goes by. So yeah, this is a magnificent piece. I totally love it. So if you get your hands on it, you should definitely get it. And I do hope that you know we do get the sword and uh, launcher parts as well. I know you, you have a strike Gundam, but you're missing the... The basic elements, you know, the sword, the sword parts and the launcher parts, you know, this definitely should come and it's definitely for sure coming as a Tamashi web exclusive. But I wouldn't be surprised if Bandai is gonna maximize or or, or use this mode to the max, you know. For sure, maybe they'll do a strike roof as a uh, strike roof as a ta as a Tamashi exclusive or maybe as a uh, this uh, twenty nineteen uh, Metal Build exclusive. They might do that. Or they might even release as a normal edition, they might do a Strike Gundam deactive mode that comes with the sword and launcher parts, you know. They did this with the uh, Metal Material Gundam and I'm not surprised if they will do this with the Metal Build series, you know, just so that you know, they can actually make more money out of it uh, by giving a deactive mode Strike Gundam with the strike and, uh, sword and launcher parts. Uh, but personally, I hope they just do the launcher and swap parts as a Tamashi exclusive without the deactive mode strike on them. Alright, so here's Charles signing off with yet another toy review. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Do stay tuned to my channel for more reviews next time.